stay with us. There will be a wedding. You're all invited to attend. I'm getting married to Val. Everyone is here. My family's here. My kids are here. Her kids are here. Welcome back uh, to, I believe, the first ever live wedding on radio uh, in the city of Montreal. Uh, today, myself and Valerie are, are going to get married, and we have all our family here. So I want to acknowledge, uh, first of all, my kids. Casey's here. My daughter Molly is here. Uh, Alex and Vic, Val's kids, are here as well. And everybody else, sisters, Dina's here. Kiki is here. Who did I miss? Andrea. Howard is here. Thank you for coming from New York. I appreciate that. Uh, Sandra's here. Who did I forget? Kiki from Israel. I said Kiki. Said from, yeah. Israel. from Israel. Yeah. Thank you, Kiki. Say it again. Say it again. Thank you very much, Kiki. <laughs> uh, and everybody else, thank you all for being here. It's really appreciated. And of course, we're going to do this the way it's supposed to be done. But I want to just go back for a second and explain how this is happening. Because, Natasha, we were talking about this a while ago. Yes. On the show one afternoon, uh, we were having a conversation. It was very romantic. It was. It was about <laughs> taxes and pensions. Yes, and pensions. And someone called and said, you know, if you're not married, the government's going to take all your pension, to which, completely unbeknownst to me, Val happened to be listening. Val called up and said this. You want to get married? <laughs> but, 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 there's a big but. You want to get married and laughing all the way, but there's a big but. Well, the but is, there is no but. The but is we're getting married. You're so doing that's it. why we're doing this today. So welcome everybody to the wedding. Thank Woo! you all for being here. Craig Sove, who is our local city councillor uh, in the Sidwest in Griffintown, has very graciously agreed to act as our officiant. The lovely and talented and honorable Tom Mulcair will act as our witness. Tom, thank you very much for being involved. We appreciate that. And he's here with his wife. Thank you for bringing Catherine along as well. And without any further ado, Craig, it's all yours. Well, welcome, everyone. Um, so honored and delighted to be here for this marriage. Uh, we are gathered here today to witness and join Aaron and Valerie in the, in the bond of marriage. Whereas the institution of marriage brings two people together, it also brings two spirits together to share a commitment to mutual respect and a life lived as one, respecting and honoring each other. Before uniting you in the bonds of marriages, uh, I must read, and this is the romantic part, parts of the Quebec Civil Code, but I think it's important. The spouses have the same rights and obligations in marriage. They owe each other respect, fidelity, succor, and assistance. They are bound to live together. In marriage, both spouses retain their respective names and exercise their civil rights under those names. The spouses together take in hand the moral and material direction of the family, exercise parental authority, and assume the tasks resulting therefrom. The spouses choose the family residence together. In the absence of an express choice, the family residence is presumed to be the residence where the members of the family live while carrying on their principal activities. Yeah, well, That's the romantic part, you see. The spouses contribute towards the expenses of the marriage in proportion to their respective means. The spouses may make their respective contributions by their activities within the home. Um, the couple have indicated that they would like to share vows. So uh, is it Valerie that's going to go first with, with your vow? Sure. Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. <laughs> This feels so surreal. I waited almost 15 years for this moment. What took you so long, Air? Yeah? What did... took you so long? Our love affair... I didn't even think you liked me that much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, our love affair began 15 years ago after a casual call to plant a catch-up dinner. And now here we are on the verge of finally making it official. The most challenging and significant relationship of all is the one you have with yourself. And if you can find someone to love the you that you love, then you've hit the jackpot. I found that person, and he's been right there all along. I love that you love me no, like no other has ever loved me. I promise to always love you. I love that you have my back and support me in everything that I do. So, I promise to have your back and support you when you run for mayor of Montreal. <laughs> <laughs> 
I love that you make me laugh so hard at times that you bring me to tears. So I promise to bring you joy and happiness for the rest of our, of our days. I love that every day you hold me and hug me for as long as I want. So I promise to hold you and get you out of, your, of that wheelchair when that day comes. <laughs> I love that you are the first person that I speak to in the morning and the last person that I want to talk to before I go to sleep at night. So I promise when that time comes to get you hearing aids so that never changes. I could go on and on about all the things that I love about you, but our airtime is limited. You are the best thing I've, I never knew I needed. You are the kindest, most generous, most non-judgmental person who only sees the good in, in others. Well, except Donald Trump. You make me want to strive to be the best person I can be. I love you very much and can't wait to finally call you my husband. Okay. Val? Yes. <laughs> there are not many things in life that always make me smile. Um, little kids laughing, um, random acts of kindness, and finding a parking spot in downtown Montreal. But beyond that, <laughs> not many things except for one, you. Always you. You are everything I could ever hope for in a life partner, kind, thoughtful, caring, generous, loyal, fiercely independent, and unapologetically and unashamedly original. And one other thing, stunningly beautiful. <laughs> I look forward to starting every day by seeing you smile and saying four words to you. I love you, Val. And sometimes you even say them back to me. <laughs> Truth be told, I first asked you to marry me about 10 years ago. We were on vacation. I got down on a knee in bachelor style and offered you the final rose. You laughed and you said no. It's now 10 years later. You're still laughing, but this time you're saying yes. I look forward to my life with you together. I love you very, very much. Those are very beautiful. Uh, and now to the questions, the famous questions. And I think this is going well, so I have a good feeling about this. Um, Aaron, do you take this woman, Valerie, to be your wife, to love her, to honor her, to comfort her, and to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. And do you, Valerie, take this man, Aaron, to be your husband, to love him, to honor him, <laughs> to comfort him, and to keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? I do. Excellent. And Excuse now we'll me. have. Hey, yeah. Was that a question? Just like. A question? <laughs> no, it was. I do. I do. Okay. All right. <laughs> and now, Tom, with the rings, please. Will it be the exchange of rings? Yep. Oh, me first? I guess. There you go. Push. <laughs> Was this someone else's ring? <laughs> Just give me the other ring. No, it is the same. Okay. Give me that ring. Okay. They're not inter. Push. That's okay. It's a knuckle ring. It's oh, there we go. Okay. Why are you shaking? I'm, I'm not. I'm shaking. Yeah. Oh no, it's starting. <laughs> and now with your rings uh, exchanged, you uh, symbolizing your commitment to each other. I now happily pronounce you. Married, husband and wife, wife and husband, I wish you the very best. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess we have time before we get to traffic. So. Can't get you off of my mind. I'm out of my mind. Boy, cause you got something different and I can't.